Hello, and welcome to Wind Power Common Device Construction Errors. My name is Karen Emmons. I'm a National Event Supervisor and also the Deputy Chair of the National Physics Committee. Now, this video is an updated version of the one in our Wind Power playlist that we recorded last year. So this current one is based on the 2024-25 rules, and the revisions are based also on common errors we saw last season. And we also include a slide about adjusting all kinds of wind power device stands you might find at tournaments. For those of you who are new to the event, wind power is a hybrid event, meaning that there, are, there is a written test in the event as well. Now this video is just about the device mistakes and tips. It is not an exhaustive list of possible mistakes, obviously, and it certainly isn't a substitute for reading the rules, but we hope it will help lead you in the right direction. The first most common error about wind power is understanding what the device is and isn't. In other words, what is the student supposed to bring to the tournament? The student or the competitor only brings the blade assembly, and that's pictured on the left there. So that's the CD plus whatever blades are attached to it, not the test setup. The test setup is supplied by the event supervisor, and it's really important not to build your blade into a test stand. There are some kits out there that have you do that, and that is not testable at a Science Olympiad tournament. The second thing to be very careful about is that the CD must attach to the event supervisor's test stand. So the first thing is to use an actual CD, DVD, Blu-ray disc. And you may hear me use the word CD here only, but every time I use it, I mean CD, DVD, or Blu-ray. So I have the word actual highlighted this year because in the rules it highlights or it emphasizes that it actually has to be a CD that could be used to record data. It doesn't have to be used to record data. It could be an old one or a new one. But uh, we had a lot of questions last year about, can we use a plastic substitute? Uh, I guess they make, you know, plastic inserts or they make, uh, they make little plastic CD sized things that people can paint as art projects. None of that is allowed. It has to be an actual CD, DVD, Blu-ray disc. And it can be either a mini or a standard size CD. Uh, so a mini is an eight centimeter one. There are some off product kind of even smaller ones that I think were used for people's cards or business cards. That's not allowed. So it's got to be the eight centimeter mini or the standard size. The disc has to snap onto a traditional CD wheel mount found in a CD player. So it's important to leave enough space around the CD hole to accommodate the spindle. Um, so in other words, you don't want to get any glue or anything or put anything into the hole um, that's going to block that spindle. You can see the picture of the spindle on this side on this slide that shows what you're attaching onto. And don't make the blades too heavy. Um, those also really can't attach. They'll start to fall off when when the when the blades assembly starts to spin. So if your blades are falling off frequently, they're probably too heavy. Think about how to attach the blades to the CD. This is another common uh, issue we saw. You cannot modify the CD. There's no cutting, no drilling, no filing, no stripping the silver off of the CD. You can't puncture the CD, uh, can't staple the blades to the CD. Even a tiny little hole is disallowed. So you can only use glue or tape to attach. And nothing, not even tape or glue, can go on the back of the CD or behind the mounting plane. So it has to be, so nothing on the back of the CD or, or bending back behind the CD. And watch out for glue or tape sneaking into that center hole. Now it's not a violation, as long as it doesn't go onto the back, but it could keep your device from attaching to the spindle wheel. The biggest mistake, by far the most common mistake, is properly measuring the blade length. So you have to measure from the CD's center, so from the middle of the hole to the farthest corner of a blade. 
and I show you know we show you all kinds of wrong measurements on there but look at the right measurement on this slide it's from that center to as far as the blade reaches out an additional note there's no limit on how far forward the blade assembly can be but by far the most common version of this error that we saw had to do when people made rectangular blades. So they would measure the length, the long length of the rectangular blade and not realized when they attached it onto the spindle or onto the CD, that long length of the rectangle, though you think it's long, is not the longest length, right? It's not really a hypotenuse measurement. So if you look closely at the side, you can see that there are corners of each of these blades that extend outside of the allowed circle. When we test these in tournament, we put them on a little spindle wheel and we spin them against a circle. And we saw all kinds of people have the corners of their blades be too long and then they had to snap them off and the blade didn't behave like they expected. So pay attention to that error. That's by far the most common measurement problem. Another testing error is testing without a resistor. So if you're able to test on a test stand, check to see if the stand has a resistor on it. The resistor is important because it takes the place of whatever the turbine would be powering. And without it, your propeller is going to spin too easily, giving you a false sense of confidence. Now, if you have a test stand that doesn't have a test, that doesn't have a resistor in it, that's okay. Okay, go ahead and test on the test stand but just make kind of a mental adjustment about it and realize that if your blade assembly is having a little trouble getting going on a stand that doesn't have a resistor, it's gonna be have more trouble getting going on a stand with a resistor. And that's of course what you'll see at tournament. So keep an eye on that. My final tip for the day had to do with the confusion about how stands can be adjusted. And I know that you don't know what you're gonna, kind of a stand you're gonna see at tournament, but I wanted to try to ease some concerns thinking geometrically about what you could do with all kinds of test stands. So let's take a look at this. So first of all, you can move a test stand back and forth, just an entire test stand. Even if the test stand's not adjustable, you can move it closer to the fan, farther away, to the left and right in front of the wind stream. So that, so the stand doesn't have to be adjustable for that. You can also rotate the test stand so that you give it a different angle compared to the wind stream. Now this, this adjustment is dependent on the test stand, but test stands in the rules are supposed to have a height adjustment. So you can raise the blade up and down in relationship to the fan. Sometimes a test stand will allow you to adjust the pitch, the angle of the blade to the fan. And that's a very nice adjustment. That's a harder one. It's not required by the rules. But if you have a test stand that doesn't allow you to do that and you want to do that, I want to show you that there is, a, that an unadjustable test stand can have the pitch um, adjusted. So if you take a look at this, you can see that all you have to do is spin or turn the test stand. And remember, it's a circle. So you will be adjusting the pitch by doing that kind of an adjustment with a test stand, even if the test stand isn't adjustable on that other angle. That's all from me today on common wind power device errors. There are three other videos in our wind power playlist. Those are about understanding the test stand, using a multimeter, and building a simple test stand for practice. All of those videos still apply, so don't be concerned when you see that the record date on them is from last year. If this was helpful to you, like and subscribe. We have other resources available on the VASO website event pages, and be sure to check out all our other social media.